Alcohol, depending on timing, has effects in three major components. Number one, alcohol can affect the growth so that the babies are born small and continue to be small all their lives. And the usual definition when we look at growth charts is a child who's been affected by alcohol in the full sense of the word, either height or weight is below the 10th percentile. So that child weighs less than 90% of children his or her age. The second uh, area is the facial features. So that the babies are born with a flat mid-face. So the whole middle of the face is undergrown. So what you get are small eyes with a lot of times folds coming down over the middle of the eye, a flat nasal bridge, a flat philtrum. Now the philtrum is the area between the nose and the top of the lip. And uh, that groove that is ordinarily there is absent. So the philtrum is long and flat and the upper lip is thin. The third area that's affected is the brain. Uh, and primarily, uh, one of our major concerns is brain growth. And that's why babies who are born with fetal alcohol syndrome have a small head at birth. Because the way the head grows in the womb is by the brain growing and pushing out on the skull. So if a baby has a small head, what that really means is he has a small brain. And we know that especially occurs if a woman is drinking during the third trimester of pregnancy. Now many children whose mothers don't drink during the third trimester but drink earlier in pregnancy, those children will have a normal sized brain. But alcohol in early pregnancy does have a significant impact on brain development.